All right, what's going on YouTube? Making a real quick video. Got my Crown Vic here, 05 Police Interceptor. So today I was trying to get it ready. I gotta go somewhere tomorrow, kind of a long trip. And uh, my wife's coming with me, so I gotta have the AC going. I had it on uh, winter mode during the winter. You guys can check out videos, but you got this little blend door back here. And um, let's see if I can focus on it so you guys can see it. Um, that little iron piece that's sticking out to the left, not the black plastic, that's actually a part of the gear that goes there. But that little piece down there, if you pull it straight this way, it'll only blow hot air. If you push it straight that way, it'll blow only cold air. So I'm setting it back up for the summertime. And uh, I push it that way. Anyways, I have a uh, AC compressor that I got from the junkyard, put it on here. Some old one locked up, snapped my belt. Uh, so finally I decided to charge the system today and I did and the compressor started turning on I was like all right you know it's gonna work and the next thing I know the compressor just shuts off like it stopped turning on I'm thinking okay well maybe I overcharged the system and um, I was thinking maybe I overcharged it so I let some out added some I didn't have a proper gauge and everything I went to O'Reilly's and I got a manifold gauge thing I rented and tried that didn't really work out long story short here's what I just did and it works good now all right on 05 Crown Vic police interceptor this is the mother effing relay excuse my French but there's nobody talking about it it's hard fun for 05 Crown Vic police interceptor AC clutch relay if you pull this one out, it'll shut the whole car off. I think it goes to like the PCM or something. Anyways, I tried jumping the uh, the wire to engage the clutch to try. It didn't work. So uh, the car was running. I pulled this one out. The car turned off. And uh, I was like, all right. So I put that one that was over here. I put it over here. I switched them around or whatever. Next thing I know, the AC clutch starts kicking in. I'm like, all right. So then I got my little gauge. I finally got bought a uh, hose with a gauge on it. Started filling it up, got it to the right pressure, and it's blowing cold as ice now. So th there you go. Just uh, yeah, at O'Reilly's. I kind of lost some money there. I ended up buying one of those cans of Freon. I hooked it into their gauge set. It's like twenty-two dollar can. I didn't. There was no. You know, it was convenient. It was right there. But little did I know, you can't take that can out. It doesn't self-seal um so yeah before you go doing all that i definitely recommend check this relay um it's right here i couldn't i tried jumping the wires on it i watched some videos online and they're like okay well wherever it shows so it looks like it should be like three and four right you know what i'm saying it looks like it should be three and four so three is the very far one back there and four is that center one and I tried jumping both of those with a paper clip in here it didn't do anything so I was gonna try to get my clutch just to kick in but it didn't do anything so anyways what I did is I switched the relays around lo and behold it started working so there you go hope this helps somebody out there I mean dude I've been working on this thing all day trying to get the AC going my wife wants to go with me and um well, she can't ride without the AC, you know? So, there you go. Hope it helps.